welcome. In this video, we'll see how submodels can help us easily organize our data model so that they're easier to work with. In this logical model, I have entities that represent various subject areas around my organization. I want to build a submodel per subject area. Let's take a look at building just a couple of those. We'll start with the production subject area. I'm going to build this you starting with the production I'm sorry the product entity. I'll right click on it and create submodel. Name this production but we'll edit this because we've only selected the product entity at this point. On the available entities I'm going to find product and highlight it and then choose select related objects where I'll choose one level of parent so that's immediate parents of the product table and then one level of child so immediate children of the product table. As you can see those are then selected for me. Once I click OK I have a production submodel created below my main model. Now let's go back to the main model and create one based off of sales. So I'll go to the sales territory table and do a similar action. In this case however, let's go ahead and choose zero parents. So I'll make this zero. I don't want any parents of sales territory. and I want multiple levels or three levels of children. Now we've gone ahead and created a submodel for sales. The last thing I'll quickly point out is that we can create submodels underneath submodels, or what we call nested submodels. So perhaps I want to focus in on just a subset of sales tables and create a nested submodel based off of these entities I've selected. For demo purposes, I'll just name this nested submodel. And there's no limit to nesting submodels underneath submodels. You can nest submodels underneath nested submodels. These features, of course, are to make it easier for you to manage and navigate your large data models.